Welcome back. Now, President Mahama has called on leadership of the MPP to keep their members who have been attacking NDC supporters and state property in check. Speaking at the inauguration of the presidential transition team, President Mahama called for tolerance and peaceful coexistence for Ghana to continually be a shining example to the rest of Africa. We voted, the ballots were counted, results were collated, and a winner was declared. Together with the leadership of my political party, the NDC, I accepted the outcome and congratulated the president-elect and conceded the election. This show of goodwill was expected to have been reciprocated with a magnanimous and dignified celebration from the winning party. Incidents of innocent people being attacked, vandalization of state property and unruly behavior arising out of these celebrations. Supporters of opposing parties have been assaulted and threatened, and some government properties have been attacked and destroyed. I must also add that some of the NPP supporters have also been victims of these excessive jubilations. I had to subsequently direct the security agencies to deploy across the country and ensure safety and security of all our citizens. I stated in my congratulatory call to President-elect Nana Ado that we would have to collaborate in this transition period to ensure the security and safety of our people. I therefore urge the President-elect and the leadership of the NPP to act firmer in calling their supporters to order and halt immediately the harassment and attacks on innocent citizens. I'm happy to note that a statement to that effect has already been issued. Let's get onto the telephone lines and uh, speak with David Agbe, who is executive director of the Ghana Institute of Governance and Security. David, uh, good evening. It's a, a beautiful Sunday evening. It, it is pretty worrying. Uh, these attacks we're hearing uh, from uh, some alleged MPP supporters against uh, NDC supporters. Uh, so, what do you make of the attacks? Are, are you know there being suggestions that this could possibly be orchestrated by people who already had uh, scores to settle among themselves before the elections? Yes, Steve. Thank you so much. Uh, I think that in the field of uh, politics and political science, we we do believe that we still have a group of people in a society who are still in a state of nature where they do not believe that we have a certain laws and certain regulations. So their conduct and their behavior are more like what I would call nihilistic, in that, I mean, the attitude suggests that there is nothing that they could do to protect you perpetrate any criminal activities against their opponents. And so political violence all over the world is not something that we need to actually support it. It is uncalled for, and it does not engender into a good political atmosphere. And as much as we believe that we are in a democratic system of governance, we thought that some of these things should have been avoided. But like I said earlier on, there are still a group of people in the society mm. who do not respect laws at all. And so some of these things, um, the security agencies need to be on top of their mm. duty. But David, uh, so talking about uh, security agencies being on top of this, uh, the, the president, John Dramani Mahama, and the president-elect, Nene Kufuado, have both condemned these attacks. Beyond condemnation, do you think there is anything more the the incoming MPP administration should be doing? I think that both leaders have been proactive um, to, you know, talk to their followers that those attitudes will not be countenanced in our society. And so while they've been able to communicate to the general public, it is an incumbent on the security agencies to ensure that nobody crosses the line of the police. And so at this point in time, the security agencies are mandated to, to pick anybody who is perpetrating any kind of criminal activities against its opponent. And so it is something that we all need to you know, work towards to ensure that we have a very peaceful environment. I mean, we should 
at this point in time, applaud the civil society organizations that uh, this year, this political violence should have been escalated. But with the intervention of the civil society organizations like, you know, ours, WINEP, National right. Peace Council, mm. and other organizations has been able to work assiduously to reduce some of these incidents. And so let's, you know, um, tax the political authorities to speak with their common voice right. to ensure that we mm. do not experience some of these right. things. Right, uh, David, uh, I'm society. afraid uh, we have to wrap up our conversation. Thanks very much. Uh, David Agbe is Executive Director of the Ghana Institute of Governance and Security. And